All right. We're going to make some comments on single pole op amps and then look at a couple of terms, phase margin and gain margin, that determine the stability for operational amplifiers that have more than one pole. Okay, so for a single, full, uh, single pole op amp, the feedback can never reach minus 180 degrees, and we saw that in the last slide. So what this means is that the op amp is always stable unless beta has frequency dependence. Now usually beta is just a ratio of resistors, but those resistors uh, can sometimes have parasitics that cause them to have frequency dependence. So we need to be careful about this. An op amp circuit with a single pole uh, op amp and a non-frequency dependent beta then is always stable. A few examples of single or dominant pole op amps uh, that might uh, satisfy these criteria would be a fully differential op amp. We haven't looked at this yet, but if we, instead of using a, a current mirror load, were to just use an active load, we would have a fully differential op amp. And this would have a single pole. Another example would be a telescopic or a folded cascode. And the reason here is that one of the poles is so dominant that uh, the other pole doesn't uh, cause much of an interaction. Okay, now let's think about what happens if we have more than one pole in our op amp, in which, case, in which most of the op amps that we look at actually do have more than one pole. So let's say that A of S, little a of S, our open loop gain, has multiple poles, omega P1, omega P2, and omega P3. That means that our closed loop response has the same poles. So our closed loop response would then become Okay, so here we have a transfer function that has three poles in it. It has a dominant pole, uh, omega P1 times one plus A naught times beta, and then two higher frequency poles. What we're saying here is that omega P1 is less than omega P2 is less than omega P3. Okay, we can estimate the phase margin for our op amp and negative feedback by summing 180 degrees with the angle of the loop gain at omega where T of j omega equals 1. This is the point where we have potential for instability. An op amp is stable if the phase margin is greater than 0. Typically, we desire the phase margin to be greater than 45 degrees for fast settling. We have one term that is used less frequently uh, called gain margin, and this is the uh, 20 log of 10 times the magnitude of the loop gain at a frequency where the angle of the loop gain, T of j omega, is equal to plus or minus 180 degrees. And of course we want this gain, Gm, to be less than 0 dB for stability. Okay, we're going to look at starting to do compensation in op amps in the next set of notes.